here's what's left of my Yukon. There's some stems over there. But this is a follow-up on uh, the other video I did uh, when I discovered the uh, larvae inside the stems and made the decision to cut them down. I incorrectly, I think, assumed that they were squash vine borers because they look like them. But I've narrowed it down to three possibilities and they're all pests of sunflowers. But in case uh, people find this video before the other one, I want to show what the larva look like real quick. There's what I found. To me it looks like a squash vine borer. And those uh, stems were all trashed inside and there was a lot of activity, activity down towards the base of the stem and um, they were packed with frass or poop down at the bottom, lots of black stuff. And I'll show you a real short clip of what that looked like so you can uh, see why, why I'm thinking that it might be a longhorn horn beetle larva. This is what I'm seeing way down at the base of the plants. They're kind of destroyed, so I don't think injecting BT would it, would have done any good because they're just completely eaten up. So I think I made the right call there. Since um, the icon is a flower uh, and it's related to the sunflower, or so I've read, um, it just kind of makes sense that sunflower pests would also be drawn to it. Um, and the three pests that I've narrowed it down to are the soybean stem borer, the longhorn beetle larva, and the root moth larva. Those are all pests that uh, use sunflower for uh, raising their, laying their eggs on and raising their larva. And um, a lot of the larva will bore down through the stem to the root uh, crown and they'll, they'll overwinter down there. And one, one of the three, the longhorned beetle, they seal off their tunnels with frass and so does the uh, sunflower root moth. And that's why I suspect it's probably one of those two, although it could be any of the three. And it's possible since the Yakon yeah, have multiple stems, it's possible that it could be two of the three or all three. I'm not sure. They all look uh, pretty similar to me. And uh, they all have the habit of eating down into the stems. So it could be any of them. I'd, I'd appreciate uh, anyone's thoughts on, on which they think it might be, but I'm leaning towards the, the longhorned uh, beetle. And also I found a couple of excellent resources on sunflower pests. So I think it might be a good idea if you're growing sunflowers or if you're growing yakon or if you're growing both, uh, you might want to take a look at them. They both have, uh, one is from Kansas State University and the other one is uh, from the University of Minnesota. They both have an extensive list of sunflower pests and uh, how they affect the uh, sunflower itself. And both of them are pretty extensive, but neither are, uh, neither of them are complete because uh, I've had a couple of pests that aren't on their list. <laughs> like, uh, for instance, lace wings. They, they seem to use sunflowers occasionally. But uh, if you want to take a look at them, I think it's a good, pretty good read for anybody that's interested in growing sunflowers or yakon. Uh, I haven't really heard much about anyone else experiencing insect damage on their yakon, so 
I'm not sure what to think of all of this, but I'm kind of at the epicenter of um, wild sunflowers and soybeans since the uh, soybean uh, stem borer utilizes soybeans and sunflowers. We're surrounded by soybean fields and we have wild sunflowers everywhere around here. So uh, there should be a lot of activity, activity of that beetle also. But anyway, I just wanted to put this information out there because uh, I was incorrect, or I think I was incorrect in assuming it was the squash vine borer. But if you want to take a look at those uh, two, two web pages, they've got a lot of great information. And I hope this doesn't happen to anyone else. At the end of this video, I'll put the common and scientific names of the three suspects that I think are probably guilty of destroying my Yakon.